Hi everyone, welcome to a new vlog. I just want to give an update on what's happening. Um, by now you'd probably think I've moved into a house or a new house, but that's not the case. I've decided to actually stay in my house. So most of you are probably wondering why do you want to stay in this particular house? You can get a bigger house and all that. But I've got a lot of sentimental value to this house and um, it's in a good area. So that's, that's the main reason I'm going to keep it. Anyway, um, I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to do to the house. Um, where I'm currently standing is the new cinema room, which was the old games room. And matter of fact, even though it's a, well, not even a metre smaller, it's actually a lot better. It feels more like a cinema room being at the back of the house and all that kind of thing. And it had um, sound dampening, um, put in the walls and the plaster. So it's worked out quite well. Um, just you know, show you around the cinema room there. Um, the rack's out currently at the moment because I'm just wiring in um, a new HDMI cable for the projector. The other one had some issues. Uh, other than that, the cinema room was complete. Anyway, so let's move on. Hey, okay, so this is um, usually the living area. At the moment, there's a couple of Outrun 2s here, um, just temporarily. I've got a couple more coming, the SP versions. Um, as you can see, the cabinets are like brand new, and this is what I'm doing now, importing um, arcade machines and pinball machines. And this is the condition we're talking. These are from Japan, and Luke's just had a smash. If you're wondering how he's reaching the accelerator, I've got a bit of wood there, so um, he's always accelerating. Problem is, he's gone in manual mode, usually it's automatic. So he's going to get used to that soon, I'm sure. So yeah, these are currently linked up, and I'm um, sorry if I'm yelling the noises here, so... Um, yeah, so that's um, that's how run two, and they're in the living room, and the computer's over here in the kitchen, and this is all temporary while I do the renovations. Anyway, we'll move on to the ex cinema room. So this is now the pinball room, and it's again noisy in here thanks to Luke playing Indiana Jones. Um, when I say it's a pinball room, it's not where the pinballs are going to be kept. This is a work room I'm currently working from at the moment. Um, yeah, it's very crowded and it's not ideal. Um, one of the factories I've got um, is just as a storage facility for the pinballs um, because there's quite a lot of them now that I'm importing and they get stored there. And the ones I need, I just bring them across here and I'm working on probably between three maybe four, five, even six at a time. And yeah, they come in They come in here and work on them. And it's very, very comprehensive stuff. We've got um, my wife Mandy who does um, the artwork um, and she's very, very good at it. Um, some of this has still got to be touched up, but she's done areas and I, I don't even know what she's done. Um, but that cabinet's getting worked on at the moment. The play field. Um, one of the things she's done, um, the number seven around the Star Trek, I can't even see what's been done. It's, it's, that, it's that flawless. And um, here what happens, um, the table gets stripped, the uh, play field, and um, we get it done in a waterborne two-pack clear. And there's about five layers of clear that goes over it to protect it for life, so there's never wear on the play field to begin with. Because yeah, with these older ones, um, even with some newer ones, uh, with the ball goes in a certain area over a period of time, you get a lot of wear. So, so this is a um, Elvis pinball, and Luke's going to demonstrate this one. Um, as you can see, it's in mint, mint condition. It's had a few touch-ups along the way, but the pinball's completely clean. And this is um, how we want to set the standard for them going out. Because there's a lot of ones out there that are very rough, and um, they get put out like that. And that's fair enough if you want a project, but we're planning to mainly fix them and, and put them out. So yeah, and currently working on a, a Twilight Zone and a Star Wars. For, um, they're sold for a couple of customers. And yeah, so, um, so that's it. I'll just try and show you, um, there's none really on the Star Trek, but if you look at the Indiana Jones, you'll see through the glass there, there's some wear. Um, and that's what I was talking about before. So you get that from Tom to Tom. This is a very common problem, the Indiana Jones. It does have a lot of wear there. And you can buy stickers or decals um, to avoid, to, to get that. So you can get the Indiana Jones' head, which I've got over there. And these are um, some stickers that, um, that I get made 
from a company over in Australia. Um, very, very good. Um, and yeah, and yeah, they, they're pretty much identical. So that's the pinball room. Anyway, we'll move to out the front where I'll show you what I'm doing for renovations. Oh, that's right. There's a uh, Tron pinball machine in the way. I've still got to bring this in. It's just a normal uh, Tron, but it was the last brand new one left in the country. And it's the update version two, so I decided to grab it. I'll just move around, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Okay, so this is the front of my house. And um, you see there's a sign there indicating that I'm building. And what's going to happen is, um, I'm going to be building out roughly two meters um, out from the front of the house, and I'm still going up. So I've um, done a, um, a 180 and decided to keep on with building up. And I've got big plans to have my games room still upstairs and um, extend, extend the front of the house um, for a showroom for when I sell the pinballs and um, also to extend um, my master bedroom. But anyway, that's, that's a bit boring. Okay, so um, let's go and have a look at this Tron pinball before I go. Tron Pinball. On the next vlog, you're going to see Oz Comic Con. This weekend, the 6th of July, I'm going to visit Oz Comic Con with a couple of friends, Mandy and Jess. So, we'll see you then. And we may have a special guest. Bye for now.